when you upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10 or another version, the setup makes a copy of the previous installation just in case something goes wrong during the setup and the system has to go back to the original installation to get your device back to a good working condition. Although the safeguard feature provides a way to restore the original changes, the copy of the files that will be kept even after the upgrade completes successfully takes a lot of storage, which can be an issue for devices with limited space. If you notice that your computer is running out of space after the upgrade, fortunately Windows 11 includes a couple of options that delete the previous files that can reclaim up to 12 GB or more depending on your previous configuration. Now let me show you how to delete those files. From the bottom taskbar, let's click on the Windows logo button. Now let's open settings. From the left hand side, let's click on system. Scroll down towards the middle and click on storage. Click on the temporary file page. Clear all the pre-selected items if you don't want to delete any of them. Check the previous Windows installation option. In my case, I don't have that option because I've already cleared it up, but you should see something that looks like this. Now click on the remove file button. Once you complete these steps, the previous installation files and any other temporary files you may have selected on this page will be removed. Another way to delete the folder with the previous installation of Windows 11 is to use the legacy disk cleanup tool. Let's open start and search for disk cleanup. Now click the top result to open the settings. Click the clean up system files button. Check the previous Windows installation option. Again, I don't have this option since I deleted that folder, but it should look like this. Click the OK button and now that folder should be gone. Now the system will only keep a copy of the earlier setup for the first 10 days after the upgrade. After this period, Windows 11 will automatically delete those files. Also, after removing the files, the option to roll back will no longer be available in the settings app. In the future, if you want to downgrade, you will have to do a clean installation using the version of the Windows you want to use. And that's all I wanted to show you in this video. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below and I will see you on my next video. Thank you.